I'm hopping out the window. Three stories, sliding down that fucking pole like a stripper in Atlanta. I'm getting out of there. What's up, family man? Today, man, we going. Uh, uh, what? Uh, what are uh, go, uh, going? Today, man, we're doing school drills by Degenerosity, my boy. On Earth, we face a multitude of natural enemies. Yep. We have the wild and strippers. Animals, the strippers natural pimps. disasters. Oh the hell! Uh. And worse yet, Steve Kerr's son. And throughout our lives, <laughs> we are preparing ourselves if we okay. ever suddenly find ourselves in a situation where we come across these obstacles. Oh, Normally shit. in the grown-up world, we'll just shoot and ask questions later if we encounter these problems. And right. sometimes, half the time, it works every time. However, there are some occasions that humanity's natural enemies oh, might come for us at school. And in case of those situations, we have school practice drills. Now, is that really why we have school drills? No, I just have a phobia of Steve Kerr's son. American Look schools are known for a lot of things. None of them are good things, but they uh, are certainly think. Man, that, the lunch at schools, that shit, man, I used to have some school lunch. That shit used to be trifling. Except, except they had some pizzas and shit. They had little pieces of look, and then they had little things, little cheese. They had like little cheese sticks. You dipped the cheese sticks and they had a little marinara sauce, little sauce and shit. Man, that, that was pretty damn good. And, and the donuts, them donuts in the morning, those little donuts with the little sun on them, boy. Ooh, and I boy. remember in school, we used to have surprise emergency practice drills. You know, stuff like the fire alarm piercing our ears at 8.30 in the morning while Man. we're still half asleep. And for me, these drills never made sense because each drill, they'd want us to act in a calm and organized fashion. Even right. in a situation when it's not a drill and it's the real thing, they expect students to just walk out calmly. That's just right. not reality. In a real fire drill, nobody gonna walk in a single file line out the door. Right. Everyone is gonna be running and sprinting out of there, shoving everything and everyone out their way. That's what's really gonna happen. No no, for real though, like imagine if the building is straight on fire, bro, and the fire is spreading and it's bad, and it's like you're, you're in the back of the line just like, um, come on, come on, oh, oh shit, man, I'm starting to catch fire, um, but I can't leave, man, I gotta wait, uh, I got five more people in front of me, what? Nobody's no, gonna be calm and collective, Damn. everybody's gonna be running out of there because they don't wanna burn to death. Correct. Now, this also might not be the safest way to do it, because in a perfect world, we're all running as fast as possible, but we're all running in sync, you know, nobody getting trampled or injured, no casualties, sure. we'll all get out of there spick and span. The problem <laughs> is, that doesn't exist, and we have some slow ass people holding us up from us trying not to be burned alive. Fast students trying to run away and the slow students holding them up. But Type I don't shit. want the slow students to get injured, you know. We're all human after all. Right. I'm trying to get everybody out of there as safe and fast as possible. Facts. So I found a simple solution to that problem. During a real fire drill, all the slow people, you know who you are, stay <laughs> back in the oh. classroom and wait oh. for everybody else to run out. Then after when everybody's gone, then you can go. Hopefully, you didn't get burned alive during that time. Simple Hell problems nah. require simple solutions. Man, they just need a fast lane, bro. You need a fast lane. Look, all the slow people stay to the right side. All the fast people, you get the middle and the left side. That's what you do. So they can start making their way out. But remember, stay to the left side. I mean, stay to the right side. Look, I'm already fucking it up, This bro. might sound inhumane, but I swear, Damn. this is Your name is Toby. Everybody. I speak for the people when I say this. We don't want slow niggas walking two kilometers an hour while we're trying to sprint out a burning building. We will push you out the way and run you over. No joke. There's literally no time to waste. You walking around <laughs> slow is going to kill the both of us. And not going to lie, oh, I'd shit. rather you die than... That was a scary ass part of the game. My bad. I'm, I'm stopping it. I know. But that was hella fucked up, bro. Seeing that dude burn in the tank, bro. I was just thinking to myself, like, the war is messed up, bro. And that was a crazy way to start a game, too. So get the hell out the way. Leaving them behind in the classroom is the best option. That's how fire drills at school should be done. Not this single file line stuff. They will be safe, I promise you. We will leave them with a water bottle just in case. But you know what's worse than how schools do fire drills? How schools do lockdown drills. I don't know what? if they do this in other countries cause y'all don't really gotta worry about this happening like us Americans do. But sure. lockdown drills are basically drills preparing us for just in case a dude come in school trying to play real life Call of Duty. And during these Man. practice drills, they had us turn off the lights in the classroom, lock the door, and had us all hide in the same corner of the room, staying quiet. And when I say quiet, I mean quietly talking. People right. like to talk. Right. And yeah, right. that's basically what we have to do during lockdown drills. 
Now, do you <laughs> see why this is dumb? We're supposed yes. to do this if the Joker comes in the building. Every student in the classroom is basically in one place, just hoping that he doesn't come in. This don't leave students safe. This leaves students vulnerable. Just because you turn off the lights and lock the door doesn't mean he thinks nobody's in there. Right, he knows they in there because the fucked up part is the kid be a student in the fucking school. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? It's not funny. I'm not, I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at the fact that the kid be the be a, is a student that goes to that school, which is probably how he got up in that school undetected with the metal detector thing detect the shit. Nothing. Bitch, he was in there with us doing the practice drills. He knows what's up. And me personally, I'm not sitting there waiting to die. Soon as I hear a for real lockdown drill. I'm hopping out the window, three stories, sliding down that motherfucking pole like a stripper in Atlanta. I'm getting out of there. I start hearing I'm going to grab the nearest chair and bust the window open, then jumping out, then running as fast as humanly <laughs> possible. What you think I'm going to do? Just sit there and play hide and seek with him? Type no. Shit. But there's complications to this too. What if the classroom don't have any windows? Or Type you're shit. in a classroom in the basement? Well, Type shit. sorry to say this, but... You might be screwed, and I'm not gonna hold you. Really, the best <laughs> thing I can recommend in that situation is running zigzags, bro. Running zigzags. Uh -huh. <laughs> this. However, I have a plan for how lockdown drills should be done. Now, we can't have everybody running outside the classroom where the sh is at. That's just not smart. So we gotta have an escape plan <laughs> what? with zero casualties. That boy got kicked in the leg and start walking backwards. Here's the plan. On the loudspeaker on a plan normal B. day of school, the announcer will be talking about a special assembly. Saying, Good morning, students. May I please have all the Ethans, Connors, Zachs, Hunters, <laughs> really all white boys that are wearing DC shoes, please head to the auditorium <laughs> for a special assembly. There will be complimentary monster energy drinks, yes. mayonnaise, and <laughs> Kristen Bell and Ben Sharpio will be special guest speakers. <laughs> Head there as soon as possible. Thank you. What? As soon as they hear that announcement. That ugly ass nigga, bro. You, nigga, if anybody is eating that mayonnaise, it was that nigga right there. They're running out that door like animals. They're going to get there oh, as wow. soon as possible. Look at that. You had them at mayonnaise, bro. You had them at mayonnaise. <laughs> we do this to get rid of all the quiet kids because one of them got to be it, bro. One of them, bro. And the special guests don't actually have to show up. It's just a front so we can actually talk about the real plan with the... Oh, shit, Dude. my bad. <laughs> okay. So the plan is this. We all jumping out the window, not hiding in the classroom. We all leaving. After that, outside of every classroom is a secret passageway. And this secret passageway is going to look like a big wardrobe closet. Bro, they not spending that money, bro. They barely want to buy y'all these textbooks and schools and shit, bro. Good luck getting the public school system to sign off on that. They probably look at that shit like... Okay, so uh, we can either get the kids safety or we can uh, put a few more metal detectors in the front. Well, sir, we're going to have to uh, actually pay for the uh, security's uh, 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 paycheck. And then they're going to be looking like, no, 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 we'll just have the teachers wind them down. That's how we're going to save money. They're What's not going to pay right? for that shit. It's supposed to be misleading. Because it really leads to a secret basement under the school that okay. only we know about. And okay. in that basement, there will be bulletproof armor for all the students okay. and weapons of mass destruction. This is literally the safest place for these students to be. And bam, it's that easy. I just made a drill that's infinitely better than what students do now. Tell wrong. me I'm wrong. Then wrong. after we done going over the real drill, we call all the quiet kids students back from the assembly. Then they arrive at class. Then we're going to go over the fake practice drill, which is the real practice drill that people go over today. I just solved American school's biggest problem in like a few minutes. And what happens after you graduate and people get to run in their mouth? What happens if they go tell the quiet kids? What happens if one of those quiet kids doesn't like mayonnaise? Now, a common question Same. might be, well, where are we going to get the money for weapons of mass destruction and body armor for all and the And mayonnaise. Students? And I'm glad you asked that question. And here's my answer. Selling drugs. I don't know. There are also tornado drills. I didn't really do this in school because there's really no tornadoes where I live. But the few times we did it, I didn't really understand it as a kid because we'd have to go in the hallways and go on the walls and duck. And I thought, 
what is the tornado gonna do jump over us if we all duck it on the wall like what is this now that i'm older i can understand if you don't got a basement this is probably the best option to protect yourself from a tornado what else can you really do run you're gonna try to run away from it and you're gonna end up in the land of the wizard of oz but school tornado practice drills is overall done right congratulations you've done one thing right man i should become a principal and run a school based on my ideas on how to run school drills my school about to be the safest school in america unlike these bro you're gonna have kids jumping out the windows you're gonna get your lawsuit by the first drill <laughs> other schools teaching fake <laughs> fundamentals of safety my school is gonna teach the real fundamentals of life Insane. Motherfuckers, <laughs> motherfuckers gonna look like a World War II training camp and shit. Goddamn, boy. The airborne paratroopers, boy. Your kids gonna have broke knees and shit, Safety. boy. How to do the back wing with your nuts at? DJ in Ohio Tech, grades K to 12. I'm gonna open that school and have the motherfucking Incredibles and <laughs> Rocky's dad as security. Oh, this hell is gonna no. be the safest school ever. Yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I just had a random thought about saving the schools of America by actually proposing good school drills. And in conclusion, any school that's missing the principal hit me up. Hell no. Hell no, bro. But look, look, look. You said you was going to have the Incredibles and Baki's father. Father. To actually be security at the school. You don't need the Incredibles. Baki's father, bro, you, you, all you have to do, all you have to do, new, 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 I'm proposing something new. I'm proposing something new, all right? You're going to have Baki's father do that, all right? And see as how he doesn't X you out for even asking him that bullshit and seeing as, as, if he actually does that, bro, all you have to do is sit the kids down in the classroom, say, hey, look, that is who security is, okay? We don't give a fuck. We don't watch anime. Okay, cool. No problem. No problem. No problem. Sit him down. And this is the whole drill. J just go through a compilation of Baki's father do uh, fighting in that prison. And oh no, that was Baki. I mean, just just him fighting. Okay, a compilation of that man fighting. There won't be no more school problems ever.